All right. So today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. I'm not going to be doing a trout fly. I'm going to be doing a carp fly. Um, you could also use this for bass, maybe some bigger pan fish. But uh, it's going to have a golden barbell eye, so it's going to be on the bottom. I got brown rubber legs, and I got brown worm body. For a little salmon worm I cut up in two, that's going to be uh, off the back of the hook. I got brown chenille, chenille, whatever. And I got pheasant uh, hackle fibers, or pheasant hackle, from a pheasant I shot in Wisconsin. Um, basically what I did was strip away all the rest of the feather and then pulled the fibers back towards where they'd be connected to the body. This spreads them out and allows the fibers better expansion when you're wrapping it. And then I have brown ultra thread number 70 dark brown. So like I said it's going to be a carp fly. Now carp Carp are bottom feeders. They have little sucker, they have little vacuum sucker mouths. Um, so basically, it's going to feel the the uh, the San Juan worm rubber part and then the rubber uh, legs, and hopefully, it's going to think it's a worms, a shrimp. I don't know, but uh, I've used this in New Mexico, Wisconsin, New York catch carp so I know it works so first things first let's get our thread attached here now the carp is an invasive species brought over I believe from Europe but originally started over in Asia they, uh, they grow quite large um, I've seen them up in the Great Lakes some carp up there, you're looking at like 40, 50 pounders. Some huge carp up there. So first things first, I'm going to attach my my worm, my rubber worm. There's some geese outside. I'm going to attach my rubber worm body here to the end. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I hate working with rubber worm bodies. They don't stay on the hook quite right. and they fold over. So if anybody works with rubber worm bodies often can uh, can explain to me how uh, how to tie them on without them keep spinning in the comment section that'd be much appreciated but since these are just hanging off the back and they're for carp I'm just gonna let them be so I got my worms tied on there. Now I'm going to take some of my brown Chanel. Chenille? Neil. Nell. Eh, whatever. I'm going to tie that in on the back as well. Come on. And just string her up to the front. Now roughly where my string is right now, that is where the head of my uh, fly is going to be. That's where I'm going to tie in the golden barbell eyes. So first things first, we're just going to wrap it around here. Now what I'm hoping for carp or suckers or whatever other fish decides to eat this, is that they just think it's a group of worms or crayfish or something. So I got everything tied on here. Next we're going to add on my rubber legs. Now these are just long bands of the rubber legs here. Just cut two of them off and then cut them in half. Could even probably cut them in half again if you really wanted to. I'm not going to. Just gonna allow them to be as is, just very long, because I'm looking for a, uh, a feeder, carp and suckers that feed by feel. 
So two on that side, two on this side. Let's see, so that's gonna be roughly about that length. So hopefully they feel these long legs and then come over, investigate, and suck them up. Keep it on that side, keep it on that side. There we go. Now I'm going to add in my pheasant fiber as a hackle here. I'm just going to tie that in here. Snip off the excess here. There we go. Take my hack of pliers here. Clip on to the stem. And probably just do one or two loops. Stuff. Come on, legs, get out of the way. Get out of the way, legs. There we go. Whoops. May not look like much right now. Give it a minute. Pull everything back. So then I'm going to tie in my hackle. All right, hackle's tied in. So I can cut it. Rest of my hackle there. All right. Pull back some of my hackle again. Now tie in the golden, my golden eye. This takes a little bit to get it on here. So up and around, up and around. Alright, so I'm up and around. So now I'm going to go around the eye and tie it in from the other side as well. Top. Just gonna trim that hackle off. Now generally, I leave room to do one more, a couple more wraps with my Chanel, but don't think I did. Yeah, that's okay. So then we come up to the front. About that stray section there. Couple whip finishes here. Keep it on to the fly.
may not be the prettiest fly, but it is effective. Take a little dab of head cement. Yeah, we'll do one more. Another dab. So with this fly, you're going to have a bunch of rubber appendages for carp to feel, bass, whatever comes and feels it anyway. And then you got some movement with the fibers. The weight with the head's going to put it, pull it down. And we'll do one more. Cut off my string. That's it. Basically this is going to be in the water like that. So you're going to have the legs pulsating, the back part pulsating, and the fibers pulsating. Looks like crayfish, bunch of worms, I don't know, but it's effective.